Welcome to Tech Notice. I was on the search for a portable SSD because, you know, I'm shooting on Blackmagic Pocket 6K and the current SSD that I'm using gets overheated a little bit quite fast and the transfer speeds off and on aren't as fast so I wanted to get something better. So look, you know, what people online say and they say, you know, you need Samsung T5. So I'm looking at the prices over here and I can see that, look, Samsung T5, one terabyte over here is 106 quid. This this one over here is 170 quid. The T7 is 200 pounds over here for one terabyte version. So I thought we could approach it the tech notice way, which is best bang for buck and make our own portable SSD that is faster, cheaper and better in almost every single way. And I mean, even endurance is four times better. You interested? Let me show you. So, first of all, to show you that this is actually cheaper than, you know, the Samsung T5 over here, £169, or 100, this is T7 now, this is £134, or if you're watching from the US, you know, it's relevant to the US dollars. Or looking at the SanDisk Extreme here, one terabyte one is also £129. So look, I bought these two things, and these are like the main, you know, kind of ingredients that make this happen. First of all, this is a Sabrent Rocket NVMe M.2 drive like enclosure with a USB-C and this is 10 gigabit speed and this is 28 pounds but I paid 24 so there's four pounds added even though this is still cheaper. And then the second one over here is the Western Digital SN550. As you can see, purchased it yesterday, no, a few days ago and it is 83 pounds for one terabyte of this. Now, the speeds for this drive are ridiculous. 2.4 gigabytes per second compared to like one, you know, gigabytes per second on the uh, Samsung T7 and T5 is even half of that. T5 is 500 megabytes per second. A little bit over, but somewhere around there. But we're not gonna get all of this speed from this drive because we're limited to 10 gigabits per second, but 10 gigabits per second is still theoretically 1,250 megabytes per second. So let me show you how to make it so you know it is super, super simple. And we're gonna do the speed test as well to see like how good does it actually work and does it perform as well as we thought. So we're gonna get this enclosure over here slide this one out and I think when we pop this button on the side over here boom you can see it just pops open like that and voila look how simple this is this is ridiculous our M.2 drive let's open this one up open up take this drive pop it in there boom so we just push it down and then make sure that the rubber goes underneath there, boom, and then the rubber bit like holds the SSD down over there, just like that, okay? The SSD is in, pop it back in, and that's it. Now, if you're a little bit familiar with like the thermal pads, you can see a thermal pad under there that's gonna like, you know, get the heat out from this SSD, but it is also like, you don't need to peel anything off, literally just pop it back in, and voila, that's, that's it. And there we have the included cable. You've got your 10 gigabit USB-C port over there, pop that back in there and I'm gonna just pop it in the computer so we can actually speed test it. Now, once you have plugged it into the computer and we're gonna to go to uh, this PC, you can see that it's not actually plugged in there. You can't see, this, these are all internal drives and so there, so where do you find it? Basically, click your Windows key and go for uh, disk partitions and there we go. You can open that and boom, it's gonna pop up this over here which says you know, we've found a new disk that needs utilizing. Press OK, boom. What's gonna happen is, if we scroll down here, you see this disk for unallocated space. So we're gonna press simple volume, and we're gonna call this portable SSD SN550. Okay, perform a quick format. Next, finish, voila, and it is done. As you can see, this PC, you can see, 931 gigabytes in there. So, let's do the good uh, Crystal Disk Mark speed test and let's see how fast is it. It's a G drive, right? Okay, press G drive and press start. Let's see what we're gonna get. So, we have some results over here. 
We can see that the read speed is 1043 megabytes per second and write speed is 952 megabytes per second. Now it's slightly lower than the 10 gigabit speed, but there's different, you know, form factors that, you know, contribute to that as well. But these are ridiculously fast speeds like very 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 good let's also do the black magic disk speed tests and let's see what does it show us over here write speeds 910 11 something like that and read speeds 938 that is very very good now this black magic disk speed test usually shows a little bit lower scores than the uh, crystal disk mark but this is still very, very impressive speed. So what about some of the real world tests then? So this is one of the Blackmagic 6K clips over here. This is 175 gigabytes in size. size. So let's start pasting it here and let's see how fast does it write it on there. Look at that. Okay, 700 megabytes per second. That is literally double what I'm getting usually from the current SSD that I'm recording this on at the moment. I can't show you this right now because I'm recording, but on the B-roll, you'll see it here. So the last thing I want to show you is the durability. Okay, so if we look at the Samsung T5, you might be thinking, do you know what? Samsung is like the very, you know, durable drive and we know Samsung is the high quality one and things like that. So basically how you measure the SSD durability is like how many times can each, you know, terabyte of the SSD be written over and over again. So it's something called TBW, which is terabytes written. So as you can see, the, the T5 SSD basically has the EVO 850 inside there. It's just like an enclosure for the EVO 850. Um, and you can see the terabytes written measurements over here. You can see this is literally from the Samsung website. I've just screenshotted that over there. So if you have a one terabyte or 500 gigabyte um, SSD over there, it's 150 terabytes written. So you can uh, rewrite and fill the SSD up and basically, you know, delete everything, fill it up, delete it 150 times if it's uh, one terabyte in size. The two and four terabytes have 300 terabytes written, okay? Now check this out. This Western Digital SN58, this is their data sheet over here from Western Digital, one terabyte in size, endurance terabytes written here can you see that number that is 600 terabytes written so basically this ssd will last you four times as long or as much as the samsung t5 drives and is double the speed you know almost double the speed in there but the cool thing is you don't have to buy this ssd i just found this one on an absolute killer deal so you know i'll leave this in the description below as well as some of the alternatives and once you are done with this like ssd recording you can actually use it in your computer as well if you wanted to just you know pop this out put it inside your pc or you know not mac really you can't put it in your mac but you can put it in your pc if you wanted to and then just you know use it as an internal ssd if you wanted to and then it performs even faster because it is PCIe 3.0 drive and read and write speeds up to 2.4 gigabytes per second. As you can see, it's like more than double than what we are getting on this one over here. So let's have a look at this. Look how constantly this is just running there at six, close to 700 megabytes per second. That is fantastic, fantastic performance. So my friends, if you want to pick this up and make yourself a portable SSD that's like, you know, best bang for buck, then Check out this in the description below. And the reason I went with Sabrent because there's some other companies out there that produce exactly the same things, but I know that Sabrent is very high quality uh, product, what they do, and it's quite, you know, affordable as well. This is like a best bang for buck, if you know what I mean. Good quality, good price, that's that. And I'm gonna leave a few different options of SSDs in the, the description below. If you want like 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, two terabytes, four terabytes, or even eight terabytes if you want to. But you can see there is no eight terabyte portable SSDs on sale, but you can make your own no problem if you wanted to. So I'm gonna leave a, some good options in the description below if you want to pick any of these up. So my friends, we're gonna end this here. Let me know if you knew about this in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, consider subscribing and if you enjoyed this video, like it, it actually makes a difference. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you soon, bye bye.